Hi guys, my name is Alex. I am currently studying engineering biochemistry in Belgium and I'm working with my lab partner, Corentin, on how to make a biopill. To do so, I will explain which materials you need and what are the roles for the biopill. First of all, you will need bacteria such as E. coli. E. coli can be found in human body. You may choose whatever bacteria you want. Make your own experiment and find which bacteria is the best to produce power. Secondly, of course, you will need a source of energy. Here, to work with your E. coli, you may use glucose. You also need water to permit the growth of your bacteria. Water is life, my friend. Falsely, because you want to make a pile, you will need two electrodes. Here you may use rare metals such as platinum, but it's very expensive, so you rather just use carbon. Results are both identical, but carbon is more affordable. Then, to connect everything, you will need to use wires and crocodile clips. The material doesn't matter, you can use any kind of metal. Next, you have to add a pump to the water cell. To produce energy, the reduction of the oxygen occurs and you want to maximize the reaction by adding oxygen from the pump. You will also need a mediator, such as methylene blue, to transfer electrons and then to generate a current. Then, to transfer ions, you will need a salt bridge. You can choose any salt, such as potassium chloride. Last but not least, you may fancy a multimeter to check if everything is working fine. Thanks to the multimeter, you can check if the current is ok and see what the value of the current is. Thank you for listening. I hope it will help you to make your own biopile. Don't forget to write a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Bye!